Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you on a Monday morning. We do have some showers and thunderstorms to talk about. More developing tonight. A detailed forecast coming up in this version of Hutch's Weather. A Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Okay, everybody, we're going to get started right away with a look at your hour by hour forecast. Two things to keep in mind as we do go through uh, the period here. Number one, we do have some showers and thunderstorms that will be drifting into the area as we go through our morning hours. So between 4 and 7 a.m., storms will work their way uh, through eastern North Dakota. Hit and miss in the exact track we'll have to see, but the eastern third of North Dakota into western Minnesota as we go into the daybreak hours. Then after that, these showers and thunderstorms will drift into central Minnesota. And in the afternoon heating of the day, a couple of those storms could redevelop and become strong. Now notice up in the northeast east quadrant of North Dakota, a few storms do develop there as well. And any storms that do form this afternoon, wind will be the main threat, but we'll keep our eyes on a potential for hail. Again, it looks like northwest Minnesota with a fair chance of some stout and windy thunderstorms going into our Monday evening planner for tonight. So now let's take a look at what we have going on with regards to our uh, activity for the day. Now, let's start with that forecast that we have across the region. And to do that, we'll take a look at the temperatures. We start out your day looking like this. Numbers that will generally be in the mid-50s. Showers and thunderstorms entering the valley as we begin our day, moving off to the east out there. Winds southeasterly 10 to 20 miles per hour as a rule. As a rule. Your afternoon temperatures rising into the mid-80s and upper 80s across North Dakota. Subtly cooler with those showers entering central Minnesota, but it won't last long in the late afternoon and evening hours. We'll see those thunderstorms redeveloping out to the east. Here's your seven-day planner real quick so you can plan your week. I've highlighted today for red, strong storms in the morning, redeveloping storms in the afternoon, mainly to the east. There is a severe chance once again in our area on Tuesday. I think we could see a few strong storms. All modes of severe weather will be possible then. Temperatures staying in the 80s. I have us warming to near 90 degrees as we head into the weekend ahead. Again, spotty thunderstorms is what I have put there right now. Models, uh, well, you know what, that, that far out, we could see that change, and I will keep you up to date with the very latest on that. So that is a look at that forecast as we go through. Now let's go back to that radar because I want to point out our risk for severe as we go through the rest of our day today here across the valley. So here we go. As we go ahead and head back to that, we'll take a look at the risk for strong to severe storms. Pardon me while I pull this up as we head through our day today. And now what we're going to notice is that we do have that risk in yellow out in parts of Montana as we go through our Monday and Monday evening. A few storms working their way into the valley could be strong. So uh, morning storms today, not a great risk of severe, and the main threat will be those gusty winds. Now heading into the day, as we go into Tuesday, look who is in the threat for strong to severe storms. Fargo, right through Lakes Country, and into the Twin Cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul. And that's a look at our storm threat. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you that you can always get the latest right here on Hutch'sWeather.com. Latest video forecasts, interactive radar, if storms are approaching your area. I, I would ask that you check on my website. And then again, the photo upload section by clicking at the top of the page will allow you to share your posts from beautiful nature photos to, well, more more, more persistent weather photos. I appreciate them all. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, stay tuned, stay safe. I'll keep you updated throughout the day. Follow me on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and enjoy the week ahead. It's looking warm with a few hitches in the giddy up here.